welcome to question bank this is the second question in the series daily mcq and the question is for ideal diodes what is the current what is the current through the diode d1 here is the circuit this one is the circuit and asking for what is the current through diode d1 d1 is here and what is the current through this one so here first we have to here two diodes are present so we have to test which one is forward biased and which one is reverse biased or on other term which one d1 is off or d2 is off or on so we have to first examine the condition of their biasing condition and on off status so first method is short circuit open circuit and then we will study the short circuit method so i am first deleting this one and making this as open circuit so here i am naming i am naming this terminal to be c this terminal to be d this terminal to be a and this terminal to be b we have to see what is the voltages that is the potential differences v a b and v c d if v a b if v a b is greater than 0 because here the condition is ideal diode if this is given a silicon diode then this will be 0.7 volt and vab is greater than 0 volt then this diode here this is d2 d2 will be forward biased and if vcd will be 0 volt then d1 also forward biased so we will check the condition so first for the d2 that is ab vab so va is va is equal to 5 volt how this one is 5 and no this one is 5 volt and no current is flowing because of the open circuited so here there is no current so this 5 will appear at this one also so here vb will be 0 minus 8 volt because here is 0 minus 8 8 this is negative of negative so this will be minus 8 volt so vab is 5 minus minus 8 that means 13 volt which is greater than equal greater than 0 and so d2 is forward biased and it we will choose which one is on after finding out that vcd so now vc what will be vc vc will be simply the 5 volt because no current is flowing so vc will be 5 volt what what will be vd vd will be 0 volt because d is connected to the ground so vcd is equal to 5 volt which is also greater than 0 so d1 is also getting forward biased so now we have to choose whose voltage is higher in forward biased condition so here d2 d2 has higher forward biasing voltage that is 13 volt so d2 will be forward biased if d2 is forward biased condition then what will be d1 this is the process so what will be d1 so we will forward bias d1 and connect as this is a ideal so we will connect this one so now i am connecting this one so here i am connecting this one because this is in forward biased condition d2 is in forward biased condition now the connection is done so 
here now we have to find out b c d so now here i am giving this point to be b so if this point is b then what will happen i will apply kcl that means 5 minus b by 1k that is 1 kilo ohm plus minus 8 minus b by 1k is equal to 0 so this will be minus 3 minus 2b is equal to 0 and b we are getting to be minus 1.5 volt which is smaller than 0 so vcd is confirmed vcd is minus 1.5 volt and d1 d1 is confirmed to be reverse biased or reverse not reverse biased this is in off condition off condition and the, the, this is why this is in reverse biased condition so here there will be no current through this one there will be no current through d1 there will be no current through d1 so answer will be 0 ampere 